what must angle 3 measure for line J to be parallel with line K? So if we look, we're given this one angle measure here of 65, but we want to know what is the angle measure for 3 in order for those to be parallel. So what does this angle need to be for line J and line K to be parallel with each other? Those two angles, so 65 degrees and angle 3, they don't have any special relationship, right? They're not corresponding because 3 is in the bottom right, 65 is in the bottom left. Um, they're not alternate interior because 65 is exterior, which means they're also not consecutive interior. They're not alternate exterior because 3 is interior, right? So none of those angle relationships can work but we can use a combination of angle relationships to make it work. So thinking about, you know, what do we know? Um, I would need to maybe like make angle five because those are alternate interior or angle eight because those are consecutive interior. We need to find that out or maybe angle seven because those are corresponding. So you do have lots of options here, but to get to five, eight, or seven from 65, I need to use some other relationship. Um, 65 and 8, those are vertical angles, right? And vertical angles are congruent. Or 65 and 5, or 65 and 7, those are a linear pair, right? And linear pair are supplementary. So you could actually go a bunch of different routes to find this answer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use 5. So 65 and 5. Well, they are a linear pair, right? So I'm going to start filling in some of this information. Now, how do you know that? Um, angle 5 is a linear pair with 65 degrees, right? So measure of angle 5 is going to be equal to 180 minus 65, right? Because linear pairs are supplementary. And if we do that subtraction, we get 115 degrees. So this one right here is 150, oops, that's 65, that's one that we're given. All right, this is 115 degrees. So now we have angle 5. And angle 5 and angle 3, those are both in between the two lines, J and K, that we want to make parallel, and they're alternate interior. So um, angle 3 needs, or let's actually let's talk about that more. Let's angle 3. And angle 5 are alternate interior angles. They need to be congruent for line J to be parallel with line K. So that tells us then that measure of angle 3 needs to be equal to 115 degrees, just like how measure of angle 5 um, we found to be 115 degrees. So that, using all of this reasoning, our second part of our question actually helps us then find um, our first part. Measure of angle 3 needs to be equal to 115 degrees. So, you know, of course, if you were doing this problem, you'd have to show some of that work. Of course, 180 minus 65 gives us 115. And then the explanation, you know, going through the fact that we have a linear pair here. So that was why we did the subtraction. And then those two need to be congruent since they're alternate interior angles. So they need to both be 115 to make those two lines parallel.